Well, I just got pulled over. So I'm doing something that I never planned to do and I always said that I would never do. My wife always told me that I would never do. And that seems to be changing. We, we left to go get coffee, Jerrica, Jerrica, Jerrica. All the fun things happen after Jesse and I leave the shop. family very top of the morning it's early about five in the morning We've got a long road ahead of us so uh gonna get my stuff together here it's got clothes sitting all over the place my garage is a horrendous mess i need to get this place in order one of these times i don't have time right now but at some point did i say it's five in the morning it's 3 34 3 34 in the morning is what i meant it's only a couple hours earlier than I usually get up, so no big deal. Let's go. Ooh, that's what happens when you go from your camera being outside to a warm snake room. Foggy. Nothing like filling up a gas tank in California. Ugh. I love getting on the road at four in the morning though. Not gonna be anybody on it. I just got pulled over. I was technically speeding, I guess. I, you know, think when I'm always when I'm driving, I always ask. Like, I got CHP friends and stuff, and I and I ask like, how fast can I go? You know, how fast can I go and not get a ticket? And they say, you know, just go this certain speed, and generally you probably won't get pulled over, but it's at the discretion of the officer of the uh, officer. So apparently this officer was training, so they pull everything over. And he said he was tracking me at, you know, however fast, even though I had my cruise control set at a lesser speed. But I wasn't trying to argue, I was just trying to go to where I'm going, so... Uh, I haven't been pulled over in so long. That just really sucked. I, I don't like it, I don't like it. But, it is what it is. I still make decent time, I guess, getting to where I'm going, even though that was a big setback. Probably gonna be sitting in some traffic now. Bummer. Every car on this road is going the exact speed I just got pulled over for. God cannot give us a happiness and peace apart from himself. As I think about these things, paying really high gas prices to go drive a great distance, leaving behind my baby boy, could be home getting drooled on by him right now instead of getting pulled over by an officer whose partner even said he wouldn't have pulled me over if it wasn't for the training they were doing right now. I go to Romans 8, 18, which says, consider that the sufferings of this time aren't even worth comparing to the glory that is yet to be revealed. It's good stuff. Sunshine. <laughs> you finished your breakfast. I did. I had no breakfast. You know what I had for breakfast? Traffic tickets. Oh. <laughs> Busy. I've been playing a buttload of pickleball recently. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I played one a tournament recently with my buddy. My parents have paddles. They got a caddy. I don't even have a pickleball caddy. And look where the court is. And the courts are right across the street and they haven't even been playing. I'm we're playing today. They're doing pretty good. Wow. 
you guys did uh, great. Your first pickleball game. How do you think about it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a pickleball, right? I, I think you guys did a good job. I think you should keep it up. That's what I think. It's my personal opinion. It's an official, professional <laughs> opinion. Are you professional? Did you get money for it? Not that professional yet. I'm just going to film you guys until it gets awkward. <laughs> <laughs> We're well past that. That didn't take long. <laughs>Freedom Breeder. I know you guys haven't seen me on video here in a while, but I do make it out here at least once a month so we can film like we're doing today, filming for the Freedom Breeder channel. And uh, I have an announcement for you guys, a couple of announcements actually. First one is that we were talking about on the Freedom Breeder channel doing a giveaway of sorts. And as I did further research into the way we were planning to do the giveaway, it looked like we could actually get all of our social media stuff shut down, Facebook, Instagram, if we tried to proceed with the way we were planning to do it. So we're gonna have to regroup and figure out a better way to do it rather than that. So we'll probably revisit that after the summer. And that's because uh, this summer, really focusing here on Freedom Breeder, at, let me make sure you guys can see in here, uh, getting the rack orders situated for Tinley and Daytona, which I am planning to be at the Daytona show this year, which I haven't been in several years. So if you guys are going to Daytona, look forward to seeing me there. It will be my birthday, so we can have a little celebration. The trucks for the racks going to Daytona are almost full, so make sure if you're needing a Freedom Breeder rack, ship to Daytona or to Tenley that you get your order in soon because you don't want to miss the cutoff, in which case you don't get the free shipping to the show. Another thing, I'm supposed to be picking up a rack today. It may or may not be ready. I haven't been in, oh look, Rack going to Canada, Mr. Will. Awesome. I'm getting a rodent rack. So I'm doing something that I never planned to do and I always said that I would never do. My wife always told me that I would never do. And that seems to be changing. Now the rising cost of rodents for feeding our snakes has been getting a little bit out of control. And so I'm looking to actually start breeding some of my own rodents, which is something, again, I said that I would never do. Some of my wife said, yeah, you'd probably never do that. But it sounds like we've turned it around. She, we've both changed our minds, basically. And um, again, I don't think that mine is ready today, unfortunately. I was planning to take it home with me and get started, but I'm not in a particular rush to do so. <laughs> never, I don't really know that, yell yeah, that I really do even want to do this, but I think that I need to in order to uh, keep the, the costs down and just do the snake breeding thing correctly. I think I need to be breeding my own rodents at this point. So I will be doing that. And of course, freedom breeder racks are the best freedom rodent rack that you can even possibly imagine getting. So that's what I'm gonna do. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get filming with Jesse here in a moment and then I'll, I'll check back in with you guys after that. How about that? Beep, always busy here at Freedom Breeder. Everybody say hi, you're on candy camera. Oh, on camera? <laughs> what in the world? Those pictures working too hard. <laughs> What's your readiness Sheesh. level, sir? What are we talking about? Ready for what? <laughs> Not going that fast. The, uh, to be, I mean... Your speedometer is broken, just tell them that. My, if my speedometer is broken, then that, that's a real issue. But I don't think it is, because I pass... I pass speed limits, so you know like the speed signs where they have, they're letting you know like that they're tracking your speed and I'll, my speed. They're usually accurate. No, my, no, they usually, well, they're usually under, like I'll, I'll be doing like, you know, say 77. Oh, they really targeted you. They really, I got targeted. Yeah. You know what it was? They, they, situation. they were brown, they saw I was brown and they're like, this is going down. Yeah, it went down. <laughs> And that's what happened. That was the result. All right, we're getting some coffee. Then we're going to film, and we're not going to talk about this situation ever again because it's never going to happen again. Dude, you just got a ticket the other day, right? <laughs> the other day? Yeah, like five years ago. That, I remember that ticket. You remember that ticket? Yeah. Yeah, that was five years ago. I can't believe that was the last time. <laughs> I, I got... We, we left to go get coffee, Jerrica. Jerrica, Jerrica. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you I got, wore pajamas today. All the fun things happen when Jesse and I, after Jesse and I leave the shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, this guy wants to talk to you anyway. I can't talk.
got a lot of video filmed in a short time here at the old Freedom Breeder facility. Um, I just got to get the drive back home and keep it slow and steady and not have another incident. It'd be great. I'm hoping to make it back home in time for a little fireside Bible study that these guys got going on um, in my town. And uh, if I do make it, that would be great. But if not, well, let's see what we can do with this. They didn't, they didn't do the, uh, not enough people could make it to the fireside Bible study, so they're pushing it to next week. So I figured I'd get my own fire for a little cool transition. I, I, I think that maybe since it's been 16, 18 hours since I started this journey, I'm starting to get a little loopy. But I, I do have an actual cool fire we can check out real quick before we get out of here. Check this out. Our fourth generation of fire clown babies. So this... Mama here is third generation, and her baby's now fourth generation of fire clowns we've hashed out, and we're adding spot nose and orange dream to it, and they're just shedding out. Not all of them have shed out yet, but as soon as they do, we'll give a more in-depth and in-focus video of these guys, maybe next weekend, or maybe this week on our Cusco and Cut, and maybe even on the live stream that we're bringing back and doing, because um, this is clearly not focusing. And uh, I, I think I'm done. I think I'm done, guys. Y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you in the next video. Aloha.